Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? It's your homeboy Seven Dollar Four Coach, online fitness, martial arts trainer. You name it, you got it. Hit the like, hit subscribe. As most YouTube's tutors will say, and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions on my videos, whatever. If you want to leave a comment, you know, on something, just go ahead and leave a comment. But what I want to say is, you know, today's society is about gays and lesbians and uh and i seen on uh the news last night about this one guy turning himself into a woman in prison have a, had a have a sex transgender change you know whole thing about it is <laughs> i'm not against gays i'm not against lesbians I'm not against, if you know, if you want to change, you know, your gender, you know, if you want to, you know, if a man wants to be a woman, hey, go for it, you know, I don't care, but I want to get this off my mind, not off my chest. Now, if you, if you really, I want to say this, now, if you read the Holy Bible, and what I do, Come time to time, I have a bookmark in there. And if you read the Holy Bible, and if you study it, and um, I want to ask you all this: um, Where does it say to one to be gay? Where does it say two to be a lesbian? Where does it say? to want three to turn yourself into if you're a man turn yourself into a woman if you're a woman turn yourself into a man it fucking doesn't and that's the only reason why um with today's society and what i think today's society is so weak you know if god wanted you to be a man he'll make you a man he wanted you to be a woman. He would make you a woman. And it does not say anywhere in that particular aisle, in that department, in the Bible, it does not say to sleep with the same, same gender <laughs> as you are. But today's society is all up for that. Today's society has changed so much. So, when you think about the Bible, when you think about the Bible and everything, I just want to, you know, going against everything you believe in as a child. You know, as what you was brought up with your family and everything. You know, to me, you know, it, it ain't it ain't the, the person's fault that's doing it. It's how they were raised by their parents, not spending enough time with the family, not spending you know, with their kids. You know, not spending uh, raising them right to be right. When I see that man on TV that was a prison prisoner getting, you know, getting charged, you know, and he wanted to change his body, you know, to a woman, he was a man and he's going to be charged and he he comes to the conclusion saying, hey, I'm going to be, I want to be a woman, I think I'm a woman instead of a man, you know, and then he wanted to have a sex change. Well, whereas in the Bible says, thou shalt have a sex change. Nowhere. It's the way I see it. If God wanted you to be gay, he would have made you gay. If God wanted you to be a lesbian, he would make you a lesbian. If God wanted you to be um, a transgender, sex change, he would want you to do that. Wanted you to be that. But no. He made you who you are, what you are. What well, you are on the inside. 
It's because you made the wrong choice that, oh, you're not happy with your life. So, you end up, okay, I'm done being, you know, straight, you know, I'm going to turn gay. Well, nobody really accepts gayness. I mean, I, I don't care. Or lesbians. You know, I don't care. Nobody accepts it. You know, if you're a true Christian, Christians do not accept it. <laughs> so, if people say that, you know, today's society, you know, it's weak. They are weak because they feel like, oh, we can just do whatever we want. You know, at free will, you know. And, you know, if I want to be gay, I could be gay, you know. But I'm not. I chose not to be gay because I am straight. It's because I don't have a girlfriend. Does that mean that I'm gay? No. It means I'm still trying to focus on me, trying to heal, heal on in the inside of me, you know, trying to figure out where what my true calling is in life. You know, learn to grow, learn to listen to others on what people have to say about certain things and everything else and be a better person because usually if you're single, people will come to you. No, look at you as a leader. That's right. Because to be like, hey, he's, you know, he's single. You know what? Let's go talk to him. You know, he might have the answers. You know, and but the thing of it is, what I'm trying to say is today's society is so weak that they think, oh, gay is right, lesbians is right. Changing your own sex gender is right. No, it ain't. It ain't right. You all ain't gonna, you know, be in heaven, you know, if you're a Christian and you do that sex change or turn gay, turn lesbian or whatever, you know. Which I have nothing against any of that. I'm saying it again, I have nothing against any of that. I mean, I have some friends that are gay. I mean, I have some friends that are lesbians. I even have a friend, I have one friend that's a transgender. She transformed herself into a man. So, and, but, do I accept it? No, I don't. I am very, very uncomfortable about it. But, if they don't push it off on me, I respect them. But do I agree about it if it's right or wrong? My opinion, I think it's wrong. Why? Because my parents, even though later on down the years down the road, my mom and dad, they got a divorce when I was 18. They made sold the house. But my dad, he got remarried to another woman. And another woman got divorced. And, um... After that second divorce with the other woman, um, he decides, okay, I want to be gay. And which I found out about it. And he didn't tell me. And it was just like, he would not open up to it. So, I got pissed off at him because, you know, he wouldn't be open about it. And, and I said, you know, why would you want to hide it from me? And, and I said, it's because, you know, you're that way. I said, I don't care what you are. I said, just don't push it off on me. But I said, does it say in the Bible where you have to be gay? I said, if you want to live that lifestyle, you know where you're going. Because in the Bible, it says that thou shalt not have sex with the same gender. Thou shalt not have sex, you know, have um, your body turn into the opposite gender. That's what it's saying. Because God wanted you to end up being who you are and what, how he made you. And um, that's how I see it. And, but most people see it differently than I do. Um, there, there are probably people out there that, you know, think differently about me. On how, how I think on that topic. But when I see that man on TV getting a trench transgender body change where he didn't have to face male prisons or prisoners 
know what I'm saying? He's a pretty woman and all that. And he didn't want to go into the Bell, the Bell Society uh, federal prison because he knew he was going to be somebody else's bitch. Well, dude, this is a septa fact. You know, except the fact that you're a male, not a woman. If you're... That's the thing that kind of pisses me off more than anything. And I just want to say this. Is that a lot of people out there don't care anymore what today's society is. And they just think they can just do whatever they want. And, you know, hey, you know, let's... Oh, if oh, I can't get a woman or whatever, let's be turned gay, you know? No. Or... If you turn into... Uh, if you turn into, if you're a woman and if you, if you like women, no, you, there's nowhere in the Bible who says thou shalt sleep with the same sex, uh, sex gender or opposite of what you are, um, or the same, however, you know, <laughs> but I'm just trying to get my point across on that. And to everybody out there on, that's watching my platform, and y'all are gonna probably hate me. For it. You know, I don't care. That's my opinion. I have no against gays, I have no against lesbians, I have no against transgender. But, but like I said, if everybody out there wants to fucking go to heaven, what does it say about gays, lesbians, and transgenders? And all that shit in this thing right here. It done. So. Yeah, I guess you say I'm pissed off right now about the ordeal that I saw on the news. That's the reason why I don't watch the news. Because all they ever care about is the gays, the lesbians, the people that want to freaking... You know, turn themselves into a man turns themselves into a freaking woman, or a woman turns herself into a freaking man, or whatever, or uh, um, or if uh, I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that, or a black person, you know, gets shot at or something, you know, and then they don't want to, they don't want to call it racism. Because a black person gets shot or whatever. No. The thing of it is, the black person that he could have got shot. Probably won. Probably brought it on to himself. Probably deserved it, for one thing. Uh, then they didn't want to make a big deal about it on the freaking news. Uh, saying, oh, black lives matter thing. Well, come on. Well, if a white man gets shot... Are they going to say white lives matter too? No. To me, I think all lives matter. But really, technically, if the black dude who got shot, he probably added it on. That's all I'm saying. And they want to make a thing called black lives matter thing. You know, who cares about the black lives matter thing? Who cares about the gays and the lesbians and the transgenders? You know, I'm not all up for that. Only thing that I'm up for is if everybody comes together, stop being a weak society, stop being, you know, being able to do on what you think you can do, you know, do whatever you want. Learn to think to grow up. Learn to think to, you know, to handle things on your own. Learn to think and think things through before you decide what you are and what you're about on the inside. But most of all, Study it up on the Holy Bible. So it'll tell you everything on what you need to know. I'm just saying. Because if you are feeling lost, that's the only way you can go to. But I'm just getting that off my mind because uh, my mom and my mom's side of the family, they are very, very, very... They are very, very, very hardcore Christians. And they don't believe in gays. They don't believe um, in Black Lives Matters. 
and they don't even believe in um, transgenders, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, have a sex change. They don't believe in none of that. And to me, <laughs> to me, I mean, I don't care what the person freaking does, but don't go around showing it to the world what you are. That's what I'm trying to get at. If you're going to go do what you need to do, go ahead and go do it. Don't show the world on what you're, what you're doing. That's what I'm trying to get at. Because then everybody's going to say, why? Why are you doing it? You know? And... And that's like I said. You know, I have nothing against none of them. No blacks, I have nothing against no no gays or lesbians or transgenders. I have friends that are black, I have friends that are um, gays, I have friends that are lesbians. I even have one friend that's a transgender. And I even have friends that are Chinese. So, it, it ain't Korean or Latinos or whatever. But the thing with it is, all I'm saying is, it does not matter anymore in today's society. But everything, what I think of today's society, today's society is weak. They can't, you know, be them, them true selves, so they feel like they have to have a change in their life, you know, like flip the script or whatever on them. You know, all I'm saying is, you know, people just grow up. That's all I'm saying, you know, just grow up, you know, man up, you know, be yourself, and don't feel like you have to be somebody else you're not, and not to escape on who you are, so, if God wanted you to be a woman, he would have made you a woman, if God wanted be, you to be a transgender, whatever, he would have made you, uh, the opposite of what you are. But, you know, he made you on who you are on the inside and out. So, you can't never change that. And that's just my belief. Seth McDonald 4, signing off. Please leave a comment down below on what you think of this video. And like I said, I, I, I'm going to say this again. Nothing against none, none of the stuff that I talked about or anything like that. Um... It's just that when I saw that on the news last night, it just pissed me off about that guy that was going to federal prison, um, getting charged to go to federal prison for something that he did, and it's because he wanted to have a sex change, so he turned himself into a woman, and that's not right. And I said, I don't care what you are. I said, you're always going to be a man. I don't care if you get a body change or not, you're always going to be a freaking man on the inside. So, there you have it. Send it on forward, please hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.